Why do we spend a good amount of time surrendering to God or worshipping God? Because for many of you, this might be this, are, this might not be fitting your logical thinking architecture. Well, even for me, it's hard to understand the concept of God, especially when you look at it from a, a rational perspective. Today we have an example of one of our students and we went to the temple and once again seeking blessings here. One thing which I realized is this makes me feel very peaceful. And if I have to dig deep into the details of why it is happening so, I'm outsourcing all the uncertainties. Now when you approach a project, there are things which you know that they might go wrong. So you fix controls. If you think about what could go wrong, you build controls to avoid what could go wrong. Now the bigger problem is there are certain things which fall into the unknown unknown. Let's say what is a known unknown? Known unknown is something which you reasonably understand. Let's say difficult paper, lengthy paper, a student getting stressed in the middle of the exam, these are unknown unknowns. Now unknown unknown, we don't even know what it is. It, it just happens once in a while, we call it a black swan event. So when there are that possibilities, we only pray God and seek His blessings to make sure we don't get into dealing with unknown unknowns because known unknowns already, we are reasonably aware of that and we are expecting certain problems. So, overall, between involving God or any higher entity in the process versus not involving, I feel this is far more safer, this is far more convenient and this keeps you humble at any given point of time. And most of our students believe so, our mentors believe so today, even CA Manju and CA Hari personally went and spent some time uh, at the temple and got all the uh, archanas done in the names of all the students writing their exams. So this is my take on working with an ecosystem called God or the divine entity irrespective of your religious faith and preferences. Now different uh, religions have different preferences. God look, it has different shapes, right? Like this, just like you have different uh, uh, wardrobes or different ways of approaching different events. Now if you believe God is a single entity, he is manifested into different forms within the same religion and other religions. So that is not the question of uh, uh, who is superior. It doesn't, it, that's, that's a very random question which need not be answered. Now it's all about surrendering to someone higher up. I hope you got some perspective about our perspective. And yes, any questions you can reach out to us. And for now, yes, I'm outsourcing the uncertainty in today's exam before him. And he'll take care, like he has always taken care. And he's taking care of us quite well. So that's why we surrender to him. Thank you.